please join us in the auditorium. This day is a bit different now. Um, we are going to have a lot of workshops. You, you all saw the program, and it's more about it's more about working together. It's more about networking. It's not so much about presenting like yesterday. And uh, I think also the audience is a bit more specific. Maybe most of you are involved in different um, functions, like being hosts or co-hosts or guests, something like that. Um, yeah, we. I think. Um, there's now Emmanuel, I head over to Emmanuel and he will explain you how it works, but there's one thing that I would like to say. We would like you to create an output that comes out of the workshop. 
So it should be, we should meet here at 5 o'clock on time in the evening, 5 p.m. We come together and bring all the results of the workshops together. together. So you should come to the, work, to the meeting at 5 o'clock with, with four slides and you have two minutes time to present what you did. And at the end, we would like to collect all the information, all the inputs. We are trying to make a kind of fan sign, a kind of, um, we call it city sign. It's at the end a kind of PDF, we put everything together because we are thinking of publishing it afterwards. It's not an academic book, it's more a book about all the inputs and the ideas. So try to uh, create good slides. They can also be images or they can also be videos or something like that. But it's important for us that um, they are, they are, there should be something visible at the end. And then you have the two minutes here to pitch. It's not a pitch, it's more of a presentation of what you did in the workshops. So I wanted to say that this is now more about working. And uh, yeah, I hand over to you. I just wanted to uh, just give everyone a little bit of a background for how we got to this without concept. Uh, I am always asked about smart cities, and I've come to really hate that term <laughs> for a lot of reasons. Well, one that is, is then co-opted by marketing departments of big companies. But, but actually, more, more importantly, it typically refers to cities with more in the sense that it's about uh, adding more sensors and computation and algorithms to make existing legacy systems incrementally better, you know, to increase efficiency. And we're not going to we're not going to solve any of the grand challenges we're facing through efficiency. I think we have to we have to have more fundamental changes. So we decided rather than cities with more, let's think about cities without. Now by that we mean cities without the old legacy systems that, that are becoming obsolete. Uh, we started just by thinking about infrastructure. So it was, it was uh, power without carbon, sanitation without sewers, and, and things like that. Then, then we, we started to think more about um, the social or governance models. Uh, you, you know, how land use regulations and zoning is becoming obsolete and how can we replace that with something better? Or, um, well, I think my favorite is governance without bureaucrats. I think that was an interesting one. And uh, that's not on the list. <laughs> but, uh, the, the, you know, you can go on forever. See, learning without schools, uh, health without hospitals, etc. So I was really pleased that everybody, when we started planning this, just ran with that concept. So you could see on your sheet the things we're talking about today. And uh, many of these I never would have thought of. So that's, that's why I love doing this, because we get to change the input of all these people. But just the very first one on the list, campuses without walls. And we, we tried to uh, then follow that without statement with a how-to. Statement: how, how do shared spaces allow for creative learning opportunity, community engagement? And, and I think that's a pretty good example. These are all really good. So what I would like people to do today is to find what you're proposing to do without. In other words, what is the system that is now accepted that's no longer working? And then, and then define what you're proposing to replace that with. And if you can do that in two minutes this afternoon, I think that would... I think that would be fantastic. Great, and the workshops, I mean, they, they should be, in, or they are, I know that they are interactive. It's not like giving lectures or something like that. It's really more like working together. And there are also some workshops outside. So you have to look at the program, and you have, I think that the logistics is a little bit, uh, maybe not that easy, but I want to explain that to you. So I would like to thank again, before we start, um, our sponsors. Um, and especially Ahoy Digital, I would like to mention, which is a platform that we set up here in Hamburg. All the computer scientists departments from different universities. And there are also colleagues from Ahoy Digital, and I really appreciate that we will be able now to co connect also the Hamburg computer science power to the international groups that are here, um, that are working here for our city science um, network. So, uh, Imanuel, I hand over to you. Did I forget something? 
Okay, so Immanuel is our drama talk. Immanuel comes from theater. And we contracted him, we hired him, because we realized that this is um, not, this is also, it's in a way, it's a scenery. How he set up the whole building, you will see when you go to the different rooms. There is, there are sceneries like with that one here, and you will find, you saw the little ducks maybe already on the stairs. And Emmanuel, uh, he comes from performance, and he now will explain us how, how it works, how the logistics works. But what do you mean, Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Are you awake? Not yet. So turn around and say hello to one person that you don't know and say where you are. Now! cities then probably you will or she will always talk about this famous Shakespeare sentence that all of you probably will know uh, who and uh, what is the city but the people so we cannot do a conference without you so you are the main persons about this in this, in this um, uh, conference in this day and you will see a lot of what Geza already said, like signs in the rooms where you work that has something to do with or without. So you can always think, is it a city without? What is this? Is it a chair without? Who was sitting there? Or maybe somebody else will sit there? We don't know. So think also about when you come into the spaces, what is the without that you are not maybe really on the title there, but you will see all a lot of things of without being there. Next thing I want to say, we have today three sessions in different times. We call them challenges. In every session, in every challenge, you can choose one session, one workshop, one forum that you can attend. There will be, the first session will be 10.30 to 12. There will be 14 minutes starting, and you have to choose it very soon. Uh, the next one will be then 12.15, so you know you have only 15 minutes to change from one session to the other one. And the third one is at 3 o'clock to 6.30. There, in between that, there will be uh, lunch. Lunch will be downstairs. Uh, we have nine spaces prepared for you. So they will be here, but in different places. You will never find them, but I will give you a hint. So in this night space, through the three sessions, there are this 24 fora. And if you really, if you are keen with that, then we will present it at 5 o'clock, all outcomes of this 24 fora here on stage in two minutes. So in one hour you will get a summary of the whole thing that you are going to work now. <clears throat> at 5 o'clock you come back here and we have this short session and we will present these four slides. Everybody, every workshop host should have the templates and they know how to upload them. If not, there is in the back of, the, of this space will be the whole day a table with Therese. She will give you the link or the templates in case you did not have that. So you will upload your four templates until 4.45 so that we can present at 5 o'clock here all the, 20, all the 24 fora. I'm very excited if that's going to work. If you are really good, then at 6 o'clock we can print the PDF and if you're leaving to the airport or wherever you go, you can already read the, news, uh, the, the book that we are producing today. We are producing a book today. That's not, not bad. Okay, this is about the timetable. You will find the better way of timetable like this one on the program back. This is very important for you because we did not print it somewhere else than here. But there is no program without mistakes. <laughs> so, one mistake. These two, these two, they change. Actually, they are the same team in the same space and they change the order. So if you want to go to the bias, you have to go in this challenge. Challenge number two and another challenge number one. Second, 
This one, said this result data, moved up here in cutting to D. And three, this one is not going up because we're all talking in, in this one, in these two sections. So this here is empty, you can choose to do another one. <coughs> what you see here is there are these different colors. These colors will lead you to the rooms. There's a kindergarten, a rear cabinet, and a commander's bridge, and and and. How do you find these spaces? Outside there, we put some lines. If you follow the lines, you will find your spaces. <laughs> if you go backwards, you come back here. That's it. Also in the, in the elevators, it should be there. Here in this space, also, you find an exhibition. In the space downstairs, there's an installation. In the space downstairs to the right, you find the lamp of the Hudson here, the science of the lamp. And also downstairs, on the left, is the mental where you get lunch. So, at 5 o'clock, you come back here, and you present and produce the city sign, and you have to produce this templates, slides, four slides in advance. Questions on that? Good. Answers? Thank you. Then, um, I have three more things, I think. Exhibition at all, or you lunch at all, and, ah, there's a club room. If you have anything that you want to leave, there's in the second floor at 2104, there's a club room where you can uh, bring all of the stuff. There are some of the sessions are not in this building, especially of the, of the last, of the last um, challenge. They will go outside, but there is written where it, at what time and where they need, so you can go out there. The weather is fantastic, so it will be nicer than yesterday to walk around. I think that's it. We are a little bit ahead of time, which is okay. So, catch up coffee. One question? Yeah, it's one question. The fourth all out, all without a ring, and the humble without borders has the same explanation in the ball. So I wonder the difference between Me too. <laughs> <laughs> we wonder the, the explanation. So if, if it's the same explanation on the paper, maybe you can check on the web page, maybe there is a different problem. <laughs> I cannot answer that at the moment. But the Hamburg without the borders, the meeting point is also the exit at the Fourier Zero, what is downstairs, at 20 past 2. If you have any other questions about the program, there is also some people here on the information stand and a desk for all the time. Okay, find your forum for the first challenge, take your coffee, and go to the States. Have fun.